I'm Ian Jones. Um, our farm name is Living Souls Farm. We're in Yellow Point. We have 11 acres of land, and we have, we have five acres uh, deer fenced, and we probably cultivate about um, two to three acres. I'm Nicole Shaw. This is my partner, Dirk Becker, and our farm name is Transformation. It's 15 acres, and we've just come from a farm where we were growing 16,000 pounds of food on just one acre. My name is Lauren McCallum, and uh, my wife and I, Cindy, run and own Nourish Farm. It's a 14-acre farm. Um, currently, we're, we're probably only utilizing about two acres of the, of the whole property at this point. How long have I been farming? I, I guess pretty well. I grew up on a farm in the prairies, so I've just been, you know, for, for almost my whole life, I guess I, you know, I did stay home, I did stay home dad and raise my kids and just kept, you know, doing small gardens at that time, but um, basically my whole life I've been involved in agriculture, a third generation uh, sod buster, I'd like to say, because my parents, uh, or my parents and my grandparents all farmed in the prairies and settled there in 1898, so whole, whole life. Well, I've been farming, I guess, eight years now. Mm -hmm. And 15. 15 for you? Yeah. And it's nice to know that uh, previously in Lanceville, we were known as Compassion Farm, and we were strictly vegetables with a few eggs. So here we're definitely going to be more diverse. We've been farming now here on this property for about four years. Around here, I guess the motivation for farming would be just uh, longer growing season. Um, and just the kind of quality, like when I was, you know, raising my kids in gardening, I just, we, we, we grew all our own gardens and just the quality of food you could produce and, and the, you know, the flavor and nutritional quality was so high. I thought, why doesn't the, you know, why, why we should be able to do this for like the general public and, um, and let them find out how good local, you know, fresh produced food is. Someone gave me a squash uh, at that time. Uh, I, I, my focus was activism, especially things like clear cutting, um, animals, uh, you know, Sierra Club, Wilderness Community, that Friends of Clackwood Sound. And someone gave me a squash, and the seeds ended up in the compost, and this one squash grew from the compost. So that one squash, and eating that one squash, and seeing food grow, and then being reminded of my mother uh, growing a garden compelled me to buy a couple of tomato plants which I planted in the wrong soil in the wrong spot and didn't know how to take care of them and they produced a couple of little tomatoes and then someone gave me some sprouting seed potatoes and then I grew 4,000 garlic and I was giving it away and then one day someone said why don't you sell this at the farmers market and it just kind of got out of control <laughs> um. We, we started our own farm basically out of just wanting to grow our own food. And it expanded from uh, growing our, our own food and enjoying doing that into realizing there was a lot more people wanted that same uh, quality of food. So we've sort of progressed and, and built on that at the Quality Farmers Market. So. Main, main crop that I would that I uh, had been selling over the last few years is uh, I've been selling uh, salad greens, mixed salad greens, and carrots. And in particular, I, with all we have like several greenhouse structures here, so we like to grow year round, and that's um, that's just high demand for like say a winter carrots and salad that time of year. We we became known as the squash people. I, I used to barely be able to sell 500 pounds of squash and every year we would have several thousand pounds of squash in our house into the next summer. It was the magic of squash is, is learning as a, an amazing food ourselves and teaching others to eat it to the point where we created a market for something that we enjoy growing. Lettuce greens I think is something that we were able to uh, use as a main crop to satisfy the customers and it was a way for us to be able to uh, break into the the customer base um, because there wasn't enough of that available so that was something that we were able to work with and, and did well at I think. I sell my product from the farm gate and also do several markets in the area uh, Cedar, um, In the Nanaimo, uh, Ladysmith, uh, Island Roots Market in Nanaimo in the wintertime and that's about it. Some restaurants
For the last um, number of years, it's been at farmers markets. Nicole and I, eight years ago, created the Bone Road Farmers Market, so that was the majority of our sales. Then the other was the Qualicum Beach Farmers Market, and also the Cedar Market. So this year, since we're living closer to, we're living in Arrington, we will first uh, work to see if we can make a living from our cute, quaint, very hippy dippy <laughs> market known as the Arrington Farmers Market. <laughs> We sell uh, mostly now at the Qualicum Farmer's Market. We've tried other markets, but uh, the Qualicum Beach Farmer's Market is our mainstay all year long. How has farming changed my life? Well, I work a lot more. <laughs> I work, you know, workload's quite high, so I work a lot. I don't take much leisure time, um, but uh, just the outdoors, living, working outdoors, what I, I, which, which I really love is, you know, it's like, I think I'm quite healthy for it, um, even though it is a lot of work, but uh, it's, um, it's rewarding. And just to have people come to you and want your product is, it's very important. It's, it really makes my day and keeps me going. And that's, um, you know, it's pretty much it, really. There's magic in the direct connection to other people. Uh, as much as it's easier and more convenient to kind of move more product or that word that I, I loathe so so much getting rid of product I'd rather have more connections with more people because as we said our mission is to change the world and what I've learned as an activist is running around being mad all the time doesn't change anything creating relationships with people and having real conversations and in this case also getting them to eat local organic food that was grown by another person that they look in the eyes of. That creates a connection and an emotional response that compels people to maybe give up some of their habits or their microwave or their or start actually putting on their clothesline, you know? So it's a life changing experience to sell your products directly and have conversations with people. I'm gonna say farming has changed my life in a way that it's actually made me slow down a little bit and look around a little more. Um, up until humbling would be another word for it, but up until uh, choosing this path, I think I was, and as I see most people are preoccupied with running around trying to figure out how much more money they can make when that's not really, it's not really the name of the game. The name of the game is enjoy your life. So this is an awesome place for us to hang out and we've realized we don't need the same amount of money.